terrible idea. Alright guys, you're probably seeing the title of this video and you're thinking to yourself, what has he got himself into next? So, a friend of mine has been asking me to go surfing for a long time now, and I've been really hesitant because every time he wants to go surfing, I feel like the good bite is on, so I've been fishing instead. Today, I agreed to go surfing under one condition, that I can go drop a crab pot out there while we do the surfing. So, the plan is paddle out past the break here, drop my crab pot on the surfboard that I have, uh, and then go surfing for a little while, and then when we're done, I'm gonna come back and pick up the crab pot, and who knows, maybe there'll be some crab in it. So, we can get all baited up and ready to go, and then we'll make the paddle out. Okay, so I'm trying to get everything ready before we head out. So just show you what we got for bait here. I, I uh, didn't realize that I didn't have a cage on this, a bait cage on this uh, trout or uh, crab pot. So unfortunately this chicken is just going to be thrown in here loose. It's going to fall out eventually, but hopefully it'll attract a few crabs in before it does so. And then I got this old cabazone and rockfish carcass. That'll be stuck in there for the full time, hopefully. All right, here goes nothing. All right, just to make sure this doesn't fall off, I'm gonna strap it down using the surfboard leash here. All right. Whew, this is gonna be an adventure. Terrible idea. Alright, let's go. Paddle! Paddle! Like you never paddled before. Oh no. Our cage is going off. back cage we made it away from the rocks kind of oh this is dumb uh oh all right let's regroup guys I hate giving up but I think it's just not in the cards today I think I'm gonna have to come back either when it's a little calmer I guess yeah that's it I just got to come back when it's calmer this way there's just too much today so this mission's to be continued all right guys well as you saw that last uh, adventure didn't go so well, didn't really go as planned. So we're gonna have to try that again another time, we'll see, maybe another video. But rather than end the day there, I thought I'd get back to my bread and butter, try to do some surf fishing, just to uh, get some fish on camera and uh, boost my confidence again after that uh, dismal performance. So back out here in the surf, low tide was about half an hour ago, so we're working our way back up to high tide. And we're gonna see if we can find some surf perch. So I'll show you the rig I'm using. It's just a Carolina rig with, uh, I don't know, maybe an ounce or an ounce and a half. To our leader with a uh, Berkeley Gulp sandworm. And we're just gonna be casting and retrieving this guy 
moving it through the uh, wash here. Hopefully some perch will pick it up. Well, that's a start, I guess. No skunk for me, but to be honest, I think this is the smallest fish I've caught in a while. Well, that's kind of embarrassing how small that one was. You can only go up from here. All right, guys, time to get serious here. Toss out the good old fashioned sand crab. See if this will change our luck. Hopefully bring us some bigger fish. We will see. Oh, there's a solid one. Drag's too loose here. Feels like a little bit better fish. But you know, the sand crab strikes again. Oh, it's a walleye perch. Actually, pretty good sized one for a walleye. Yeah, it's a solid walleye. Now for uh, eating, I definitely prefer the barbed surf perch and the red tail compared to these. But on a slow day like today, we'll take this. Not too bad. Get a good release on him. There he goes. And those do not get much bigger than that. That's about as big as they get. So, solid fish on the sand crab. So I'll explain a little bit while we're fishing here. So. When you come to the beach, the whole uh, landscape of the beach is uh, very different than it may seem. It's not just one flat area usually, depending on the beach you're at. But like this one, we got a nice little trough right here, right past the break. And then behind that is a sandbar. But then that sandbar, it's got like a tunnel right here. So all the water is coming in through the side, both sides actually and then it's kind of funneling out through this little tunnel in between the sandbars. And so that creates a little rip right here. And a lot of times that's where the fish like to hang out. For one, it's a little bit deeper. And two, the sand gets pushed out through that rip. And with that sand, gets the, the sand crabs also get pushed out, uh, which is what they're feeding on. Depending on the day, this could be a good spot to start. The so reading the water is definitely important when you're fishing in the surf. So yeah, kind of a slow day, but a little bit better than our crabbing adventure. So you might be thinking, how do these sand crabs survive out there? Seems like everything, any fish out here will eat them, and even the birds eat them too. So if you look at this guy, what they're trying to mimic is just a little pebble. So when you, you think about it, the water's crashing, you know, all the waves crashing everywhere. How is the fish gonna be able to tell the difference between this rock and a sand crab? So obviously, they don't all survive, some get eaten, but that's what they're trying to mimic. That's how they're camouflaging with the sand. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. A couple of perch out here, nothing to write home about, but just enough to get my confidence back up after that dismal crapping attempt. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me fail today. As always, I'll leave all my gear linked in the description below. And other than that, we're gonna uh, head home and regroup. It's been a long gap here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.